I am Dominic Santos, and I am the director and choreographer of Memphis. Tell us about the play. Uh, well, the musical was on Broadway in 2009, it debuted, and in 2010 it won the 2010 Tony Award for Best Musical. Um, it is based on Dewey Phillips, who was one of the first white DJs to play black music on a white station in Memphis, Tennessee. And you can expect to see, number one, an extremely talented cast. You can expect to see a great story. You can expect to see great costumes, great lights. You expect to hear great music, absolutely. You should come to see it because the message is very relevant to today. Even though the story takes place uh, 50, 60 years ago, it's very, very ironic and very unfortunate that the story is still relevant today and where our culture and where we lie as a country and a nation. Well, I think there's a lot you can get from it. Uh, I think it's different from for anyone. Um, I think mostly the message is just to go your own route and not to really think of what's holding you back and just go. Um, sometimes it may take you where you want to be Sometimes it may take you not where you want to be, but it'll all be worth it in the end. Oh. Uh, Memphis runs September 11th through the 27th at the Wilmington Drama League. See ya. All right. <laughs> I'm Katie Butler. I'm music di musically directed at Memphis the Musical. I'm Kim Walton, and I'm playing keys for the musical. The music of Memphis is very rock and roll, R&B. To quote from the show, R&B is... Rock and roll is just R&B sped up, so it's very jumping and jiving, and it's a lot of fun. It's the soul and it's what was great about the music of this era back in 1951 is when the teens, it was a great way to bring the segregation together because all of the teenagers of both races used the music as a link. And why should we come see Memphis the Musical? Because it's an energetic, fun show with an important message that we can't forget where our country was back in 1951 and how far we've come from then. Oh, definitely. It's crazy to think how, f first, how far we've come but also to kind of, with everything that's been happening recently, see how it's still coming into play. And uh, just the music really brings all that, f those feelings and that everything right to life, right on stage. Wilmington Drama League. When? S September 11th through 27th, Fridays, Saturdays at 8, Sundays at 2. Okay, what's your name and your part in the play? I'm Pam Atkinson and I'm a part of the Bill Street Ensemble. I'm Nicky Demas and I'm a part of the Bill Street Ensemble. I'm Taylor Walker, and I'm part of the Bill Street Ensemble. Tell us about the play. Um, the play is pretty much about the 1950s and when um, black music wasn't played on the radio, and this white man comes along, falls in love with a black lady that loves to sing, and he does his best to get her on the radio. You can expect to see lots of musical numbers, lots of great theatrical moments, and lots of good dancing as well. You can expect to take away um, a change in diversity of how the blacks um, became a part with the whites and it changed what it is today. Yes, there definitely is a big message that you can take away from this show. It shows how music can bring us all together no matter race and no matter uh, size, skin color. It's just a message of music how it can be spread across through all types of nationalities and ethnicities as well. Are any of you in school right now? I go to Dickinson High School in Wilmington. I'm a sophomore at the University of Delaware in Newark, Delaware. I'm not in school. <laughs> <laughs> the play is September 11th till September 27th every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The Wilmington Drama League. And Wilmington Delaware. All right, thank you. Break a leg and have a great time at the show. Thank, thank you. you.